Hello everyone, I am Vinit Tribhuvan from WIT Solapur and today we shall see detection of Hamiltonian cycle in a graph by using backtracking approach. So at the end of this uh, session, uh, you will be able to apply backtracking approach to find all Hamiltonian cycle in a given graph. So what exactly is this particular problem? You are given a graph which comprises of set uh, V and E where V is the set of vertices, E is the set of edges and we have N vertices in this graph. A Hamiltonian cycle is a round trip path along all the N vertices where we are covering all the N vertices of the graph and we visit every vertex or every node exactly once. We cannot uh, visit any of the vertices more than once. So this is the problem. In other words, if the cycle begins at vertex V1 and the, v and the vertices are visited in the order V1, V2, V3, which are adjacent, then the edge uh, that is the last edge, I mean the VI and the VI plus 1 belongs to uh, edge set E and VI is equal to VN plus 1. What that means is the cycle or the Hamiltonian tour will end at where the cycle started. So the first and the last node will be exactly same. So this is the sample graph. It has five nodes and uh, connected edges. So the possible Hamiltonian cycles in uh, if we consider this graph is uh, say for example if we start from one we will tour from one to two 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and back from 5 to 1. So this is a possible Hamiltonian cycle in this graph. Similarly, there is another cycle where we tour for, from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 5 and back from 5 to 1. So these are two of the possible Hamiltonian cycle if we consider the sample graph. If we consider this particular graph, if we say for example we start from 1, we will tour from 1 to 2, 2 to 4 and if you go if you go to any of the vertices that is either 5 or 6 you will not be able to cover the other vertices uh, apart from coming back to 4 so this will not satisfy the constraint that this problem has given and 4 will be uh, visited twice so this is uh, there is no hamiltonian cycle in this graph and uh, since it does not satisfy all the constraints so how to apply backtracking approach to find the solution to the Hamiltonian cycle problem? We generate a n cross n adjacency matrix marking 1 for possible edge between two vertices and 0 if there is no possible verti uh, there is no possible edge. We start seeking for the cycle by setting the first vertex at the starting vertex because we want to set the starting point of the cycle. We continue checking by visiting adjacency vertices exactly once. If we reach at the last vertex, we check whether edge from that last visited vertex to the first vertex is available. If the edge is available, the cycle is firm. If all the vertices are visited and no cycle is found, say for example no cycle is found, we backtrack to the previous vertex to continue checking for other paths leading to the cycle. If there is no cycle, that is the last vertex does not lead to the first vertex of the cycle, we backtrack and then check for the cycles from the remaining adjacency, uh, adjacent vertices. All the paths that return back to the starting vertex by visiting every node exactly once are counted as Hamiltonian cycle. So we have to uh, follow these three criteria. we follow. Every vertex should be visited exactly once. There should be an edge between the current vertex and the previous visited vertex. And the last vertex should have an edge joining to the first vertex to form a valid Hamiltonian cycle. So these, these are the criteria that we follow to find the solution. Now let's go ahead and find the solution to this graph. So we have already seen this graph. Now I will show you how to apply backtracking approach to find a solution to this particular graph. Now as we have discussed, I have generated an adjacency matrix where one states that there is an edge from uh, the 
uh, node say for example 1 to 4 if there is an edge I have marked it as 1 because 1 to 4 has a valid edge 1 to 3 does not have a valid edge so I have marked it as 0 and likewise for all other pair of nodes so we start uh, our solution initially we mark all the um, uh, the array or the vertices that we have visited as 0 because we have not yet started our solution so first we fix the starting vertex of the cycle to 1 that is node 1 to avoid finding the same cycles again and again so we start the we fix the starting vertex to 1 now we start traversing the vertices from 1 to 5 to find the cycle now as we have discussed we cannot visit one single vertex twice in a cycle so we have to move ahead we cannot uh, uh, stick to one or we cannot visit one again so we have to go ahead okay so we can go from one to two now again we start from one so we cannot visit one again similarly we cannot visit two again so the next vertex that we can visit is three because one uh, two to three is a valid edge now again we start from one one cannot be visited again similarly two cannot be visited again three also can be cannot be visited since it has been visited previously so the next vertex that we can visit from three is four because it has a valid edge so we write four here now the next uh, vertex to find is we start from one one cannot be visited since, since it has been visited previously two also has been visited previously similarly three and four also can be visited uh, cannot be visited since uh, both of them have been visited previously so we come to five and five four to five can be visited since that there is a valid edge from four to five now once all vertices have been visited exactly once we check whether there is an edge from the last vertex to the first vertex in our case the last vertex is five the first vertex is one so we see whether an edge from the last vertex to the first vertex is available and yes since 5 to 1 is available or is 1 we have come to our first solution and the Hamiltonian cycle in this case is 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and back from 5 to 1. So this is a valid solution that we have found. We are going to find some more solutions to this same graph. So what we do is since we cannot go ahead that I cannot write 6 because there are only 5 nodes we backtrack from the last visited vertex and since no other vertex are available we bound the path by marking 0 and backtrack from the previous vertex. So I write 0 and now I will backtrack 4 uh, to 4 to see for further available solutions for the same graph. So the next vertex from 3 to 4 is 3 to 5 so I will uh, write 5 here since there is a valid vertex from 3 to 5. Now I will start again uh, finding solutions from 1 here. So I cannot visit 1 because 1 is already been visited. I also cannot visit 2 again because 2 again has been previously visited in our solution. 3 also cannot be visited since it has been visited previously now if you see I can visit 4 but I have to check whether there is a edge from 5 to 4 now it shows me that there is a edge from 5 to 4 so visiting 4 after 5 is completely possible and so the next um, vertex that I visit from 5 to 4 is uh, from after 5 is 4 I cannot visit 1 2 3 because they have been previously visited 4 can be visited but the thing to check is whether there is an edge from 5 to 4 so there is an edge from 5 to 4 now we have to see whether there is a edge from 4 to 1 so we see from the graph as well as from the matrix that 4 to 1 is available so this is our second solution that we have found out that the cycle starts from 1 to 2 to 3 to 5 it goes to 4 and back from 4 to 1 so this is again a valid solution that we have found out 
so again we continue further and check for other cycles so uh, we cannot visit uh, 5 again sit, since it has been previously visited we backtrack to 0 now again we cannot go ahead from 5 to 0 so uh, uh, fr uh, from 5 to 6 so we make it as 0 and we backtrack now i can visit from 2 to 4 so 2 to 4 is a valid edge so uh, we can visit uh, 4 after 2 now i will continue further and check for other vertices for cycle starting from 1 1 cannot be visited since it has been previously visited similarly 2 cannot be visited again we have to check for 3 now 4 to 3 is a valid edge so 4 visiting 3 after 4 is completely possible and now we will check for uh, other vertices after 3 so that we can complete the cycle and reach up till 1 so we start from 1 1 cannot be visited it has been previously visited similarly 2 and 3 also cannot be visited 4 also has been previously visited so we leave 4 also and now we see whether there is an edge from 3 to 5 so since there is an edge from 3 to 5 so we traverse from 3 to 5 and check whether 5 connects us back to the starting vertex 1 if 5 is connecting us to 1 since we have seen in the previous solution 5 is giving us a valid solution 5 to 1 so we come to our third solution that is a cycle from 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 3 3 to 5 and back from 5 to 1 so these three solutions of course there are so uh, many other solutions also but we will stop here and we have come to three solutions by using backtracking approach so at this point in time i want you to pause the video draw the particular graph and find or identify whether the graph has a hamiltonian cycle or not pause the video and answer the question so if you carefully see the graph and uh, try to trace the solution the solution graph uh, has a Hamiltonian cycle and it is as shown in the slide. So this is, is the reference that I have used for the video. Thank you.